Hey everyone, so I did some shopping yesterday. I went to Ulta, CVS, and then a random boutique we have here in town. Well, about like 30 minutes away or so. But I had a ton of extra care bucks, coupons, and just um, random like rewards cards that I wanted to go ahead and redeem. So considering how much the full retail price of most of these products are, I got a really great deal. I think I ended up spending about $53 or less. So I'll just go ahead and get right into it. Um, Ulta had OPI nail polishes for buy two get one free and then I also had a $3.50 off coupon that you know you normally get in the random Ulta flyers. So um, I really love the new collection that came out. Is it Cirque Femme Fatale or something like that? I forget. But I've really been wanting like really pretty nude colors. I hate paying a ton of money to get my nails done. I used to get acrylics and gels on my nails all the time. And my nails got awful. I had so many grooves in them and they were just so damaged and brittle. So I've been trying to like keep away from the acrylic nails. And I've been picking up random nudes and really pale pinks from several different brands. But it seems like to get the color that I want, I have to layer and layer, layer and layer coats on. And by that time, my nails look goopy and just disgusting. So I picked up three colors and I got them in I Juggle Men. And it's this first color. It's really pretty. It's almost like a thick, thick, clear coat. But then there's just random iridescent glister, glisters, glitters. There's pinks purples, greens, I don't know, it's really pretty. And I just feel like you could layer this on top of any color. And it's in the shade I Juggle Men. Why am I doing that? I know my camera doesn't focus. Okay, the next color, you guys are probably thinking, wow, you got such boring colors, but I have so many purples, greens, blues, reds that I really wanted to get neutral colors. So the next is in So Many Clowns, So Little Time. I'm also deciding on how I want my nails for my wedding. I don't want to put acrylics on. I may get those, what is it, shellac nails? Something like that. Which probably isn't that great for your nails either, but I want to try it out. So the next color I got is in So Many Clowns, So Little Time. And it's just this really pale, creamy pearl color. Yeah, I mean, it just looks like a pearl, but it doesn't have the little iridescence effect. So it's just a really pretty creamy pearl color. Then the last color I picked up from the line was in the spotlight pink and I love this. It's just a really creamy baby pink but when you put it on your nails it almost, you guys are going to think I'm ridiculous for being like okay you bought OPI nail polishes and all of them are almost like clear. It takes about three coats to get kind of this light pink, how do, how do I even describe it? It reminds me of gel nails, like when you just get a gel overlay on your nails, that's exactly what this looks like. So I have it on my nails now, my cuticles are awful, but that's this color in the spotlight. So yeah, these were from Ulta, and like I said, they're buy two, get one free. So those were the colors once again. Okay, and then also from Ulta, I've been needing hairspray. I just ran out of my favorite hairspray, which is the, wow, why can't I even think of it now? Sebastian? Oh my god, I can't even think of the name. Okay, well, whatever. So I picked up this hairspray. It's from Brusk. It's the Radical Extreme Hold Finishing Hairspray. It's a five on the system of one through six. So um, I used it in my hair today. It is holding well throughout the humidity, but my hair doesn't feel like hay, which is nice. So there's a nice hold, but it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy because I absolutely hate that. So I don't know how much this hair nor normally is. I'm guessing maybe around $12 or so. Um, it said the first sale price was $9.95 and then it went down to $3.99. So $3.99 for a bottle of 10 ounce hairspray. That's cheaper than most of the good hairspray you can get at Walmart. So I was really excited about that. And then the last thing, or no, two more things from Ulta. Um, my hair is really damaged right now on the ends just from having these highlights in there. My hair, everywhere where the highlights are, the ends of the highlights just feel really dry and gross. I've been trying out a couple different um, treatments, the Moroccan oil and all that kind of stuff. So I saw this one, it was also on sale, but I used it in the shower yesterday so the sticker rubbed off. But it is the Graham Web, Graham, blah, 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 Graham Web Velvet Soft Line and it's just an advanced softening treatment. Basically you just use this in, in the shower after you shampoo, you squeeze out any of the excess water and you leave this in your hair for 3-5 to five minutes 
I rinsed it out and I didn't use any conditioner afterwards just to see like the actual effect of the product. It is amazing. Even when I just rinsed out my hair, I could tell it was going to be really good just because my hair already felt really smooth and soft. I didn't blow dry it or anything. I went to bed with my hair wet last night, which I normally hate doing, but I didn't want to put any heat to it because I knew it was going to curl it this morning. So yeah, I paid $4.99 for this. The sale price was $16.99. I don't know if that's the normal retail price or what, but it's kind of small for being that expensive. It's four fluid ounces, and I have really thick, long hair, so I don't know. Um, I was thinking, okay, first I'm just going to use a pea-sized amount, but I did have to use quite a bit more just because my hair is so thick. So I'll definitely let you guys know once I use this a couple more times. Also, um, most of you guys are probably familiar where like the clearance things are in Ulta. Oh, I know every Ulta is set up differently, but always check back in the very end of like the prestige line of hair products just because they always have like Big Sexy Hair, Graham Webb, Joyco, all of those kind of things marked down. So I definitely check there first before you go shopping around just because you may find something that you've been wanting. The last thing I got is probably one of the most, ex or the last thing I got from Ulta is probably one of the most exciting things I purchased altogether yesterday. Um, at Ulta, they have a ton of Physicians Formula products. They have more than what I usually see at CVS or Walgreens. They have the makeup wipes, they have all the organic line, the bamboo line, all of that. So I saw this and I was like, okay, you know, whatever, I'm just going to try it out. So I saw that it was a flat top brush, which I've been really wanting, a smaller kabuki brush. And it is just the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Airbrushing Kabuki Brush. It says it's the softest brush ever. Um, perfect for mineral and press, mineral press and loose powder. So the packaging looks like this. I put it back in there just so you could see if you were looking for it. So it comes in a blue box. I used this this morning and I can already tell that it's going to be my new favorite. I want to go get another one just to keep them separated from liquid products and um, powder products. So I use this with my powder this morning and it is so incredibly soft. This is by far the softest, densest brush I own. I absolutely love it. Like I can't say enough good things about it. Every time I go to MAC, I always debate on getting the Kabuki, but I'm just like, wow, 40 something dollars is pretty steep for a brush. Okay, this thing is amazing. Um, I tugged on the bristles just to see if it would shed or anything. It looks just like this. So as you can see, the bristles are really short, but them being so dense, short, and compact, like really helps you get on the product. This would be perfect for buffing on liquid foundation, but like I said, I just used it for my powder today. It's quite a big brush, but I love it. Like I'm definitely go gonna go get another one. I wish that these were carried at CVS and Kmart just because CVS and Kmart are having 40% off of Physicians Formula right now. Ulta wasn't, but I had saved a $5 off coupon that I got from their Facebook site a while ago. So this brush was $10.99, but then I had the $5 off coupon. So $5.99 for a brush like this is a good deal. So if you're looking for a new flat, definitely go to Ulta and get this. I guarantee you'll be satisfied. I'd be shocked if you weren't just because I'm absolutely in love with it. It's so incredibly soft. Okay, so that was all that I got from Ulta. And then from Kmart, I only picked up a couple of things. Like I said, Physicians Formula was 40% um, off and then I had a $3 coupon that I clipped from a Sunday paper a while ago. I used this this morning because just because I wanted to kind of give you guys a quick little review of, I guess, my first impression thoughts of it. So the packaging, once again, is from the Mineral Wear line, so it comes in a blue box. I should have used it first because now the actual product looks disgusting so I'm not even going to show you the bottom. Physicians formula, I just hate how their packaging is so bulky and big. So it looks just like this, you pop it open, they give you a little cute rainbow colored brush and then a little poofy applicator and then inside are these little pebbles. So you have pink, green, yellow and just kind of a skin toned color pebble in this little jar and basically what it is, all talc free, so it's really good for your skin. These are just the color correcting pebbles. It just says it's pebbles of powder and they perfectly blend even, they perfectly blend out to even out your skin tone and it's a three in one corrector, illuminator and powder. So I got mine in Creamy Natural. They ha also had it in Translucent. 
Um, like I said, I used this this morning. So far, I like it. I'll definitely let you guys know how I like it further down the road just to see how well it lasts throughout the day first. But just from the first application and being around the house right now and not in the humidity, I'm loving it. It definitely evens out your skin. It gives it a really nice... Your skin look really like luminous and bright. And it definitely, it definitely helped even out the redness on my cheeks. So, so far, so good. Also from Kmart... Also from Kmart, I picked up the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I've used this before. I haven't had it in a while. I remember I did like it, but I've been out of it for a while now, and I guess I just completely forgot about it with all the other powders I had around. But all the Maybelline face products were 40% off, and then they had a dollar off coupon Peely in one of the little Maybelline sections. So I think I ended up paying around 3 or $4 for this, and I just picked mine up in light 4 to 5 so if you're wanting to pick up any of the Maybelline products, I would definitely go. So if you've been in need of any of them, you should go to Kmart and make sure you look for that $1 coupon in store. Kmart in the makeup section, there was a clearance bin, so I was kind of digging around in it, and I saw several Revlon products. Other than that, there wasn't really anything that I liked too much, but I saw several Revlon Color Burst lipsticks. I haven't tried any of them yet, and I think at the drugstore, they're normally around $8 or so. So I was looking at it to see what colors they had. At first, I only saw like browns and really dark wines. I was like, okay, I can't wear those. But then I saw this color, and I was like, okay, that color swatch is really pretty. This is in the shade Blush, and I'm wearing it on my lips now with some of the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss. And it looks just like this. It's a really pretty pinky mauve color. On my hands are... I don't know how well the swatch is going to look on camera. It gives me a lot of a luster lipstick. So far, I really like it. So then, oh, oh, I totally forgot to tell you how much I paid for them. These were reduced from $8.79 to $2.14. So seriously, yeah, I was like, okay, I have to get this one. So this one I haven't even opened yet. So we'll see what this color looks like. Ooh, and it's like an intense red. I mean, that's like the perfect red. So I'll definitely be doing a tutorial for a red lip. Let's give you a swatch of that. So there's Ruby. That is such a pretty, I mean, it almost looks like a fake plastic toy. It's so pretty. So I picked those up. And then the last Revlon product from Kmart was this nail polish in Tropical Temptation. They had a black and then a silver, but I have plenty of those colors. This reduced down to $1.14. So that's like the of an NYC nail polish at Walmart. So for a Revlon nail polish, I thought that was a great deal. It's this really pretty coral color. So there's that. And then I think that was all that I got from Kmart. That's all that I got from Kmart. And then I realized I totally forgot to bring, I picked up another OPI nail polish at that boutique that I was talking about. It was one of the line, it was one of the glitter polishes from the burlesque line. While, while I was at that store, she also gave me little samples of the Buxom lip glosses. Okay, and then the last three things I got were from CVS. I had a couple of extra care bucks, and I don't know what the deal is. My last tube of Falsies mascara absolutely sucked. It was in waterproof, it was in ultra black like I always get, but I don't know what the deal was. It was awful, and I was so sad just because I normally love that mascara. So I wanted to try another one, so I picked up, I remember using these when I was younger, the little duo-sided um, mascara. So this is the Maybelline XXL Extensions. It says it gives you up to 80% more length, who knows. But it's just one of the mascaras that has the primer on one side and the mascara on the other. I used this today. And so, you know, the it is really black. I got it in waterproof. And on its own, it definitely did lengthen my lashes. But I like having volume on my lashes as well just because they're so thin. So I layered these two together, which is kind of silly just because the purpose of this mascara is that it's like 100% free of any parabens or chemicals or anything like that. This is the Organic Wear Mascara from Physicians Formula. This was $7.99 and then 40% off. The packaging's so cute, it looks like a leaf. But the brush reminds me a lot of the CoverGirl Lash Blast, but it's not tapered at the end. So it's just a big rubber brush like this. This bad boy definitely gives you a volume and it makes your lashes black. I'm wearing that on my lashes today. And it's holding the curl up well. Okay, and the very last thing I got is so exciting. I'm 
and in love with this product already. I mean that the lasting power is good and everything because the color is absolutely gorgeous. It is the Physician's Formula Glow Boosting Sunstones. And I got mine in medium to dark. It says it has glow activator technology, instant and lasting luminous bronze glow. Okay, seriously, this is gorgeous. I saw, it, they had it in light, which I saw it and I was like, okay, it's probably not going to be as pigmented as I wanted to, so I got it in medium to dark. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on camera, but bronzer this morning, everything that I got, I try to kind of use this morning, but I love it. The color is gorgeous. I'm hoping that the lasting power is good, just because that when just talking about the color, I love it more than my MAC bronzers. I love it more than my Laguna bronzer, my NYC Sunny bronzer. So I'm really hoping it lasts well throughout the day, but the packaging is adorable. It looks just like this, and it just says bronze booster on the top, and you can see the little pearls down on the bottom. This bronzer is normally $16.99, and for a drugstore product, that's pretty expensive, but this was also 40% off. I definitely think this is going to be a product that I'm going to repurchase, but like I said, we'll just see how it lasts throughout the day first, but that, when just speaking of the color, it's incredible. Like, I can't say enough about the actual color of this bronzer. It is so pretty. So you get a little brush, then once again, you get a little puff pad, and then inside, you get these little... Oh! So you get these little pearls of bronzer. So you have some that are just gold and shimmery. I'm just going to take one out and show it to you. The ones that are these colors, and then you have the actual kind of typical bronzer color. I don't know what it is about this, but when mixing these two together and applying it on your cheeks, it gives you the perfect glow. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like a fake baked tan. It doesn't look orangey. It's just the perfect, like, brown, bronzy, golden bronzer. I, oh my god, I just can't say, like, I just love it so much. So I'm wearing it today, like I said, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but yeah, this and the Physician's Formula Kabuki brush that I picked up were definitely my favorite purchases. So like I said, if you're wanting to try out any of the Physician's Formula, definitely get out to CVS and Kmart while they're having this 40% off sale. And that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you saw something that you're going to want to go out and purchase. And yeah, that's it. Oh, also today I curled my hair and like pinned everything up while I was curling it. I had so much volume, I had to brush it down some. Like it was Shirley Temple curls. It was ridiculous. I was just kind of trying out what it would look like if I used hot rollers. I definitely like the look, but like I said, it was a little too much at first, so I did um, tone it down. But I feel like I have a comb over. My bangs are intense. I think I'm going to braid them and put them back or something just because I feel like it's a little too much right now. But, but that concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you already own any of these products, if you love them, if you hate them, what. But yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time. I hope you all have a great weekend and a happy Easter.